Happy holidays to you and yours. Holidays with the family are great, but they can sometimes be complicated. Happy holidays, Uncle Bob. What's good about them? I'm paying too much in taxes to support poor people who are sitting on their duffs. Good old Uncle Bob, sweet man, wrong. Here are some suggestions to help answer the favorite arguments of the Uncle Bob in your holiday gathering. Actually, Uncle Bob, the top tax rate, which I assume you're paying, is just a little more than half what it was for four decades before 1981. And only a tiny percent of your taxes go to the poor. By the way, the poor are working harder than ever, often 60 or 70 hours a week in more than one job. But they aren't paying any income taxes. You see, he just wants to talk about income taxes. That's a trick. What you need to do is talk about the total tax burden. Actually, Uncle Bob, they're paying a higher share of their incomes than you are for Social Security, state sales taxes, property taxes, user fees, and tolls. Add all these up, and the entire bottom half of Americans is probably paying a higher tax rate than you pay. But if the government taxes people like me, the economy suffers because we're the job creators. Every holiday I hear about this job creator stuff. Even Uncle Bob, if he thinks about it, brilliant businessman I'm sure he is, knows that he only hires people when he has customers. Actually, Uncle Bob, the real job creators are the vast middle class and the poor, whose spending motivates companies to add jobs. Without customers, there'd be no jobs. That's the real economic problem. The wages of most people haven't gone anywhere for 35 years if you adjust for inflation. Most of the economy's gains have gone to the top 1%. Ah, the problem is labor unions. If they criticize unions, tie the decline of unions to what's happened to middle class incomes. Actually, Uncle Bob, unions built the great American middle class of the 1950s and 60s, giving workers bargaining power to get a fair share of the economy's gains. But because union membership has plummeted from a third of all private sector workers then to fewer than 7% now, the median wage has been stagnant and the middle class has been shrinking. So I suppose you want to raise the minimum wage too. Be ready for this one. That'll mean fewer jobs because with a higher minimum wage, employers will substitute machines or send the jobs abroad rather than pay people more. Actually, Uncle Bob, research shows a higher minimum wage creates more jobs because people spend most of their paychecks in the local economy, thereby fueling job growth. And it's also good for employers because it leads to more loyal and reliable employees and less turnover. You know what you are? You're a socialist. Once they start the ad hominem attacks, you've won. No, Uncle Bob. I'm just interested in facts, not labels. <laughs> Don't choke on your apple pie, Uncle Bob. Or in the spirit of being hopeful around the holidays, this may happen. Name calling will get you nowhere, Uncle Bob. You know, we have much more in common than it seems. You care about America. I care about America. We all want a stronger economy. We're all worried about money in politics. We want to leave a better world for our kids. Happy holidays. Kumbaya, my friend. Kumbaya. Kumbaya.